Welcome to the new Earth Star Sanctuary in Second Life. I wish to bring you into this beautiful virtual scene to help you feel the experience of the quantum starlight streaming recalibration. Water is really an important element in the whole process because it is such a conductor of light. You might wish to even, as you take this meditation forward, it's not really a meditation, a process forward. At times, it would be good to perform it with water. That is, in the bathtub, in the shower, um, by a stream, by the ocean. Just somehow being a part of the fluid energy of water as you're doing this, by a fountain, you know. And as you visualize your experience, you might wish to feel the liquid light of water, starlight water, liquid starlight surrounding you, and just embracing you with that current of loving touch that's so wonderful you know when you get into the buoyancy of especially in the ocean me having lived in Kauai for so many years I really miss that here but you know I I'm not an ocean person that much but because I don't swim that well but living in the islands you have to get in the ocean right <laughs> so in my time there I have spent a certain amount of time just sort of floating around in the shallow waters of the ocean and it's such a buoyant feeling. It's, it's just a, a, an expression of actually bringing awareness into all the cells of your body. Because it's such a pleasure just to be alive, floating in the water. <laughs> so kind of get that feeling into your being as we work with this. And how light interacts with water. It is truly a mirror to the soul. So let us begin. Place yourself in a comfortable position. Right now you're looking at this video and so as you're watching it, just sit relaxed in your chair. But when you're taking this out into your world, you can lie down to do it, sit down to do it. You can even stand if you're standing with your feet on the, the bare feet on the earth and the sunlight opening your arms, you know, to to the heavens, some position, even a yoga position, something that brings you into touch with the elegance of your spiritual, physical relationship. And begin to breathe evenly and fully, not too deeply, but just evenly and fully. And I want you to visualize the starlight streaming into your body as if you're standing out in the sunlight. But this is not just diffused sunlight. These are little rays of starlight. Beautiful, beautiful rays of starlight. Delicate, yet powerful. They're sparkling and gently descending into your body. They come through the crown. They touch your shoulders. They move and shower you through your entire body, down to your feet. Now I want you to say this. You can say it aloud, you can say it silently. Aloud is good though. I see you. Respond. Let the recalibration begin. I see you. That means that you are seeing your true higher self and being. And you're asking that true higher self and being to respond. To pay attention to you. To answer your call. And then you command it, command it from your spiritual authority, not from your ego or will, but from your spiritual authority. You command the entire being that is you 
to allow the quantum starlight streaming recalibration to begin, to call it forth. So we say it again. I see you. Respond. Let the recalibration begin. Feel the liquid light trace geometries of your DNA deep into the core of the structure, filling and refreshing the codes therein. You might visualize your etheric body bodies because it's kind of a unity of one, but there are many parts of the whole. So, But you can see it as one beautiful, like, shining body of light that traces the body you have, but it's just sort of more aligned and brilliant. It could even be filled with this liquid fluid light water. You become this body of starlight liquid light. You can see the little sparkles of starlight reflecting in it, just like the pool of water that you see here in the virtual world. Feel this code being received by the heart, updating its function and coherency. So let us now start again. We're going to go through this again. For the purpose of this video, and mind you, you can change these visualizations and whatever as you go along with your own process, but right now, you're going to see your entire light body. It doesn't have features like human features and face and hair and all of that, but it has an outline of your human body, but it's filled with beautiful, I'm going to say blue, whatever color blue comes to you the best, starlight, liquid, watery starlight. It's a water containing starlight, the water of your body. Remember, our bodies contain large amounts of water. So we're just going to see that watery body, and it's filled with these little sparkles of starlight. And as the starlight is moving into the watery body, you can see it moving, it literally changing. Little sparkles here and there, traces of light change different. There's little like um, ray tracings of light moving through the whole element and then it might sparkle at one point and then disappear at another point. It's alive, it's energetic, it's gentle, but it's powerful. It's almost elusive and yet it is right there before your eyes. And as you focus on this beautiful light body that is yours, you say again, I see you. Respond. Let the recalibration begin. I see you. Respond. Let the recalibration 
begin. I see you. Respond. Let the recalibration begin. When in the QSS recalibration mode, your being calls upon the streaming to bring all into recalibration, to center, to the zero point, everything that is of the elements has the QSS streaming and can thus be recalibrated in this matter, in this manner, including your environment. But right now, you're focusing on you, your body the beating of your heart, the synchronization of all components, spiritual, physical, etheric, within your heart, that dynamic center, that powerful pulsing part of your being that is the essential alignment point to the entire universe to the entire spectrum of everything that you are, because you are the universe. Focus on that brilliant heart light moving throughout your entire liquid plasma body and then down into the physical flesh, into the cells, into the DNA calling forth the recalibration to zero point back to the birthing moment not of your body but of your soul and your body is merely an extension of that soul it will respond to that command It is recommended that when you apply the QSSR in this fashion, in a deep, cohesive way, morning and night are the best times, just as you wake, just as you awaken, and just before you're going to sleep, when you're getting kind of relaxed, but you're not asleep yet, to go into the QSSR. However, it's really important to stay aligned to it. In the daytime, when you feel flustered, hurried, anxious, angry, you know, any feeling that's not truly your higher self motivation, if you don't have the time to go through the whole process, I mean, just saying, I see you, respond, let the recalibration begin, that's powerful right there. But, you know, even if that's not working for you, just go, I recalibrate to zero point. You can do that. I recalibrate to zero point. Because once you have gone through this sequencing, not just the words, but the feeling, you take the time with the I see you. You feel, respond. You feel, let the recalibration begin. And once you've done that enough, then in between, you can just say zero point. Or you can say, you know, I recalibrate to zero point that's the better one but even if you just have a second to say to yourself zero point zero point zero point it helps to bring you back because your neurons are already acclimated to the whole process and the whole process isn't really that long repeating it though is good when you're in, in the morning or at night you don't just say it once you go through it and you keep repeating it for a while just a little while as you feel it kind of sink in but after that's happening, you know, and you've got it going for the morning, during the day, just saying, 
I recalibrate to zero point, boom, or just zero point, boom, you know, you just keep going back to that. It will really help train you, train your lower emotional field to go back to zero point. Kind of like training the little puppy to use the paper in the corner. <laughs> you know, you have to bring it back again and again. And then finally, it just automatically happens. And you'll get to where you don't have to say zero point. You get the feeling of stress or anxiety or whatever. And it just, oh, and it just goes boing. And you go right back to zero point because you've entrained yourself that when you get that way, that's where you're going. You're not going downhill. You're going back to center. I hope this has been helpful for you. And remember, you do have the PDF to follow as well. Thank you for listening.